Hello and welcome back to Massive Chalice. So in the last episode, I think I thought all was lost then, and then the new, um, oh cool, the new higher leveled, um, vanguard was able to actually win something for once. So, oh I want to try to get that item now, the sponge stone. Ooh, I, I wonder if it's worth it or not. Maybe, maybe I should go with like regular items first so that I know how they work. Oh, this is just telling me to hover over all this. Okay, cool. Cool, I understand. Okay. So let's just let that research. So anyway, with the new Vanguard, which I believe is mostly... Let me just check. I think it's like almost entirely uh, alchemists. Active. Oh, those were the only active heroes? Oh wait, maybe we didn't do well? I don't know. Okay. Well, anyway, the, the fate... I, I'm gonna continue with this series as long as everything goes in a general upwards direction, but if it starts going down, then I think it's time to can it, because this got off to a really rocky start. Anyway. Um, the cannon. You wake up to find Rosa Antonin shoving a poster in front of your face that's asking for citizens to join the cannon. I've been hearing about these people for months now, Rosa Antonin scoffs. They say they worship the Cadence, and they want everyone... Uh, they want to help everyone ease the transition. I think it's all nonsense, but I want to go find them and see for myself. There's a group hanging up posters right now that I can tag along with. Um, see, Rosa would probably die if she infiltrated. But something good might happen, so... Okay, we can't use her anymore. Um, oh, I think we're in a bad situation if we uh, get attacked again. I don't know. Are they having babies? Not enough, clearly. She gained the health-conscious and tranquil personality, so I guess that worked out well. Um, Rosa Antonin has her turn with a hefty amount of cannon wares. They talk a lot of nonsense, but they have something with this healthy living stuff. The hero hands you a mug of green oatmealish sludge. I think all of the Cadence rubbish is just a ploy to sell these things. And you know what? It's working. I sleep better than I have in months, and their recipe book is delicious. It's basically me. Um, okay. So she went all green and... and fad dieting. Um, hmm. So this already has one on it. I don't want this place to get attacked, though, because we have people in there. I'm pretty sure if we if we leave this place to get attacked, then the people inside die, and I don't want that to happen, because we actually have people in there. So, I'm gonna try to defend that. Oh, I hope we have heroes. Oh, no. Okay, this might be the last episode, because if we lose this place, I think, and we're gonna lose this place. Oops. We got two level fives, though. How did- I don't remember what happened. I thought we were doing well in the end of the last episode, but that was like a week ago, and I didn't check out the last episode before doing this, which is probably my fault, but I didn't realize that we were so low. Because <laughs> nobody died in the last fight, I, I believe. Oh wait, three people died. And then I guess some people died of old age or something? I don't know. Okay, so this is, this is very likely, actually, than the last episode. I didn't see what was around here. I think it was just Twitchers, these guys, and those. Um, okay. So let's just move everyone forward, and you know the drill. So we found some stuff. Not not good stuff, if I have anything to say about it. Ooh, and I can't even really hit any of them. I can hit that one. Oh, and that's gonna damage both of them a little bit, I think. Nope. Nope, they're doing fine. They should get, like, acid corrosion on them. But it doesn't look like they're getting that. Um, and then I'll have her a little bit further away, because when that thing explodes, I don't want it to hurt her. Yep. Oh, it's not gonna attack. That's useful. And then the Twitcher's probably gonna pull you? Oh, pull you over here. Which is fine. Ooh, that's gonna hurt. Or you can get a glancing blow, that's fine. Um... Let's see. You can... Oh, it's probably better for her to kill off this guy without touching it. Yeah. Oh, but then I want you to come over here, which I don't think you're gonna be able to do. Oh, I didn't think that one through. Yeah, you can't even get close. You're slow. So, let's just move you close enough. Or as close as we can without stepping in acid. Yep, that'll do a little bit more damage. Uh, so you can just hit that with your hands, I guess. And then, um, that's not gonna kill it, so let's knock it out a little bit. 
What does the charge do? Hmm. Maybe we could try that. Yeah, it probably wasn't the best decision, because... Oh, did it not even get... Oh, it didn't. It didn't even get knocked out. Well, that's kind of useless. Well, she did. She's all freaking out. Okay. Uh, let's just do more damage. They might die in this first little tiny fight. Yup. Okay, so you go do what you're meant to do. I think she got the lowest amount of damage that she was able to do. Then that's gonna hurt her, and then she's gonna- oh, that didn't hurt nearly as bad as I thought it would. And she's pretty furious right now, and she's helpful. So she's probably gonna die when she attacks the next thing. But at least she leveled up, which is pretty neat, and I think that's a skill point, which I can use. So why don't you just- yep, let me use that skill point. Uh, prime target taunt all visible enemies to attack this hero and temporarily gain an armor boost. So that means everything attacks her. Oh, so they're good tanks. I never thought about that. Um, slam the caber into the ground and damage all nearby characters. I think a mildly area of effect- well, that's an area of effect spell that might be a little bit ranged. I don't know how, how far out it goes, but that sounds like a good talent to have, even though she's probably going to die in, in this fight. Okay. Let's just slowly move her forward. This is gonna be slow. So, yeah, I'll resume when, the, when she finds something. She found something. Okay. Oh, she found two things. So we have a rupture and a, in two lapses. It says it's obscured, but I, I can see it pretty clearly. Um, I guess we can try to do that whole... The log jam? Oh, okay, wait, I have to have her get into place first. I'd like her to get there, because then she would do the most damage, but let's see what happens if she does it here. That won't do a ton of damage, and it'll only do damage to one of them. Um, so I guess we're doing that. It's gonna hurt her, though, when it explodes, and then, um, the acid itself. It's weird, the other two didn't get damaged when the, um, rupture exploded next to them. The Twitcher and the other Rupture? Hmm. Okay, well she's angry and she's slowly dying. Oh, and that thing's gonna explode, do some more damage. Although it's hurting the laps more than it's hurting her. She's not actually terribly damaged. I still don't think she could take out the whole um, map on her own, but she's not, she's not doing poorly. Can I go over here and- oh no, I couldn't attack from there. Okay, let's just kill you. And you're gonna explode, and you didn't get all dazed from that, which is pretty nice. Oh, there's another lapse. These are actually pretty easy to one-shot now. I think the Twitcher was the thing that caused the most, um, issues in the last fight. Not- not dungeon, but like, that fight with the Twitcher and the two ruptures. Uh, can you attack? Yes, you can. Yeah, she should be able to just one-shot everything, which would be pretty nice. But this acid is slowly eating away at her, and she still has to fight, like, a million other monsters all by herself. So, not gonna work out too well. Or him. I've been calling it a her all this time. It's Sir, Sir Ulfer. For shame. Okay. Oh, we got another Twitcher. And this is the end. The end of times. Um, I guess we'll just attack it for all it's worth. Oh, I probably should have stunned it first. That way I can get two attacks in. Now, unless it does a glancing blow... Well, that was pretty useful. Um, let's... Let's knock it back. Daze it. Oh, yeah, she can actually kill this. You know, I... I... I said so much bad stuff about... Um... What, what are they? Caber Jacks. But she's pulling through all by herself. So we got that next. I'm gonna be just absolutely amazed if she finishes this dungeon by herself. I don't think she's going to be able to, because like these things you just can't fight melee. She's gonna get as much damage as if she hadn't hit it. She gets the same amount of damage. Essentially the same thing happens, except now she's standing right in the pool of acid. Well, no, she'd always be standing in the pool of acid. I don't know. Um, let's have you walk this way, and I might as well try to help you out. So why don't you use the healing potion on yourself? 
And there, good good is half as half as good as new. Okay, so yep, see you when the um when she finds something. She found a thing. It's a lapse and it did quite a bit of damage to her, but she should be able to take it out or he Man, I cannot get this right. Um, but he should be able to take it out in one shot. And then we have a rupture over there. And another lapse over there. But he is amazingly just not dying yet. I'm I was expecting him to die like years ago. Well, not years, days. Okay, that'll do it. So both the heroes are vanquished, so I think what I'm going to do is end the series after this episode, but might as well just run through the rest of this, you know, episode, see what happens. No, they're still fine, so maybe that's not the case? Maybe maybe it's fine to just let a, a keep be attacked. I don't know. You know, if only they could have more children, they're really terrible at producing children. They have, like, a single child. I mean, they're not getting any any younger. Now they have two. Okay, it's... who's attacking? Oh, wait, what happened? Oh, I didn't... I did not read that. Okay, well, apparently that got consumed. What? Wait, wait, what happened? Did I just, like, agree to not fight or something? Because... okay. Um, cool, so the alchemists are ahead of the game. You know, what I should have been researching in is, um, caberjack armor, since all we have are caberjacks, apparently. That's probably not the case anymore, since now I'm pretty sure we have nothing. Except if this baby grew up. That was year 126. Yeah, he's probably, I mean, a little bit grown up, at least. Oh no, he's still a child. Okay, so let's continue researching, um, caberjack, I guess? I suppose, since we have so many caber jacks that just- I mean, it just- Maybe the reason we have so many caber jacks was because I always use the alchemists and hunters, so they were like the first to die. That's probably the reason. It looks weird that there's water that's on fire over here. I mean, it's not technically fire, it's more cadence or whatever that is. But it kinda- it looks like fire, and, and I think that's water. It's probably this- this chalice water. So do we have anyone? Uh oh. There's not even a point to sending one person out there. We'll level. Yeah, level four. They're not gonna make it. Okay. Let it burn. Let all of them burn. That's gonna sink, and those two are gonna get heavily damaged. It would be amazing if we made it to the end of this episode without the entire place going, um... Getting enveloped by the, by the sea of lava. Okay, so one of the partners died after only producing three children, and I don't think- yeah, we don't have any, um, any people to marry her to, so... That bloodline's dead. I guess I could have researched to have more heroes or whatever, but at this point- Oh, that might have helped, actually, if I had done it instead of researching the armor. That probably would have helped. It was probably a poor decision not to do that, but, um, it's too late now. We have two little places left, and if either of them get hit, uh, one of them's gonna have to die. So... Those children, how old are they now? Are they old enough to fight? Probably not. Oh, they all are. I mean, let's go out in a bang. Let's see what happens. I don't remember which place I chose to defend. Wow, they all look very similar. They're all purple with red hair. Oh my god, you guys are definitely siblings, if you had any doubt about it. Let's go into battle. And here we are. Okay. We have already a Twitcher and a bunch of seeds. And again, I didn't read what we actually have to deal with. Um, I'd like to kill the Twitchers first since they separate everyone. You don't do a ton of damage. And you don't hit either. Which isn't cool. Um, how much damage can you do? If I move you over here, how much damage can you do? 7 to 10. That's- that's good, that's- that's almost a little bit of damage. How much can you do? 9 to 12? That's a little bit more. Um, if you could actually hit, though. 
Yeah, they're dead. They don't even have a lot of health. At all. Yeah, that seed basically took that one out. Yeah, she's dead. Or he, or it, or Shklee, I don't know which one that was. But it's dead now. Okay, and I'm expecting the Twitchers to switch places, even though at this point I don't think it would do any good for the enemies, anyway. So she, he, it is stunned, um, which means I can't even- they're dead, basically. And I guess I could try to hit this guy, since it's the most damaged. Oh, you know what I should have been doing? Uh, you have- you have skills. Uh, put it down, I guess? That's a good one. So why don't you do that? Just do a little bit more damage. Oh wait, that's only if it has less than half health. You're not even gonna get to that point. You're gonna die way before that happens. Unless the seeds keep getting lancing blows, but no, they're they're all gone. Yeah, you're dead now. Wow, the game is like randomizing numbers in in my favor right now. Okay, now you're dead, and you need about uh two good. Yeah, we're not counting on anybody. You need about two hits before you're dead, or one really good hit from this one, or not. I guess you're just gonna run around and freak out. Okay, um, go, go ahead and attack. Oh, I should have had her just take herself out with the whole trick shot thing. Uh, I'm not sure, that's a little bit dark actually. <laughs> At least she would have gone by her own rules. Okay, so that was fun. That was a fun little ending to a, to a very fun run. So, this is the end of Massive Chalice. I'm not sure if the game actually ends because we've lost all these territories. Like, I'm assuming something will happen, but we might only need the castle. Like, does this have three dots? No. Maybe? Oh. Okay, we lost. That that ended well. Okay, well, well in the, in the sense that that ended for us. So... Is there any any special effects? Any end scene? Listen to us. This doesn't mean that your efforts weren't just, or that nothing of worth came from them. Except nothing of worth did. Um, the only way you could have lost was by not fighting, and no one can say you're guilty of that, except I did on several occasions choose not to fight. Don't think of this as an end. Nothing is forever. Oh, this is pretty depressing. I mean, like, the words are nice and everything, but, like... Huh. Okie dokies, then. So, this was Massive Chalice, and, uh, this is what happens when you... when you lose. So, uh, comment... Well, actually, I'm gonna choose a different game. Um... I'm not sure when I'm gonna choose that game, because I just started school... Well, I'm starting school, so I won't have a ton of free time. But I'm going to pick a different game for the channel, and I will see you guys in that game. Bye!